Hey folks, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun, and today we want to talk about using a chest rig or a chest holster like this one from Crossbreed. Now, is a chest holster or a chest rig a good EDC? Is this something you're probably going to get up and put on every day and go to work? Probably not. But chest rigs do have a place in our universe. Sometimes you're going to be out camping, hiking, bicycling, going in and out of vehicles, riding in ATVs. Maybe you're going to be backpacking and that's not a good time for you to have a gun around your waist because you have a pack on and all that jazz. Maybe it might be a good idea to have the gun up here. Fantastic, right? How do we get the gun in and out of the holster without muzzling ourselves, our hands, our legs, any part of our body? Well, we're gonna talk about that today. First and foremost, we need to remember the universal safety rules. And one of them is never to allow the muzzle to cross anything you're not willing to destroy. How do we do that? Well, number one, I'm going to give my offhand or my support hand something to do. And I call it the reverse pledge of allegiance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my left hand up here. Now that my left hand is up here, it's out of the way. I go ahead and secure the pistol. I draw it, pull it out. Once it's out, I can take this hand, bring it underneath. That way it's never in front of the muzzle. Bring it underneath, marry my hands, do my business, do whatever I need to do. Now I can put the gun away. When it's time to put the gun away, I'm going to separate my hands, bring this hand back up, and then I'm going to come around behind the holster and lay it in nice and slowly. You never have to go back to your holster quickly. I see this on the range all the time. People try and go back to their holster fast. You don't need to go back to the holster fast. The only reason you're going back to the holster is because you're all done with this thing and you don't need it anymore. And if you're all done with it and you don't need it anymore, you don't need to race back to your holster. Take your time. One of the main concerns with a chest rig is you want to make sure that you avoid the tendency to rock the pistol back into the holster. If I were to rock the pistol back into the holster, I'd be pointing this right directly at my heart. Probably a bad idea, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very deliberately come behind it and lay it in nice and slow. Now you say, well, what if you have the gun out and you need both of your hands? You need to grab somebody and help them. You need to do something, whatever it is. You need both of your hands and you've got a gun in your hand. What are you gonna do with it? Open your hands and let it drop. Take care of the emergency and then get the gun back. So in conclusion, in order to safely and effectively access your gun and return it to a chest ring, we're gonna exercise the reverse pledge of allegiance. We're gonna draw the gun do whatever we need to do, and then when it's time to put it away, we're going to put our hand back up here and we're going to lay the gun right back into the holster. I'm Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.